So in conclusion, <laughs> well, I know Ben Mathis started the year last year promising to get you out on time. It's not going to happen today, folks. <laughs> I apologize for that, but that's okay. So I want to say good morning to you and happy new year. Good morning. Bob, you may be awake, but they're not. <laughs> okay. And isn't he a rock star? Is he not on this camera? Is a rock star? <laughs> Dr. Matthews, uh, once again, to demonstrate why I go to my church, uh, <laughs> it's because you're the leader there, and you're one of the, the, the part of the leadership that makes that such a wonderful place to be on Sunday and every other day of the week. First United Methodist Church. There's a lot of folks here that are participating in the group, but um, Sam and I have had quite a few different conversations over the last couple of weeks, and he's he's right in saying that I I'm regretful for what I said and it was a mistake, and I apologize to him and my church members for doing having done that. It was a slip of the tongue, and we all do it, and it just reinforced that Sam said that I'm not perfect. Um, and I make mistakes, and I will continue to do that. And that is why I go to church, because I do make mistakes. And we invite you for 9 o'clock and 11.15 every single <laughs> Well, I have to do something here that you know, we know is important, and many of us pointed out, but Annette. Many of you know Annette. Already, we've been doing this long enough that if you don't know Annette Lee by now, you just haven't been paying attention. Uh, this will be my 12th year in public office. We hope to have another two. And we continue to strive and do the best we can as a, as a couple, as parents, as grandparents, as man and wife, as best friends, to do what we believe is best for Cobb County on a daily basis. But I guarantee you one thing, if it was not for her love of Cobb County, she would have had me packed up and moved years ago. The things that she's had to endure by some of the folks in the press and some other issues, most of us would, most of us would say that's enough and turn and leave. But she's took it, she's taken it, she stood by me, she supported me, she's often, often, often mentioned again that I'm not perfect as well. <laughs> But that grounding is what keeps our relationship strong, the honesty, the trust, and the love we have each other. If you would, please thank the net for supporting us. <laughs> so Cobb County is a very fortunate place to have such a strong board of commissioners. And each commissioner is committed to only one thing, and that's to provide the best for our citizens, our businesses, and the visitors to Cobb County. Commissioners, if you will please stand as you introduce, we have Commissioner Joanne Burrell here today, Commissioner Lisa Kubrick, <laughs> Commissioner Bob Hock, and the newest addition to our board, representing Northwest Cobb, Commissioner Bob Weatherford. I'd like to also be welcome Mr. David Hankerson, our county manager. I'm sure many of you know him. Um, he's joined our team recently. He's a young 28-year-old man who's <laughs> trying to help make things happen. His agency director is his department half of the staff. If you guys please stand. As mentioned earlier, there are many state, city, and local officials here today. There's constitutional officers, the judges, and representatives in the sheriff's office. I have to tell you that our relationship between them and the, us, between us and those important leaders in the commission, the county manager, and staff has never been stronger. And it's working at a very phenomenal level. And I appreciate it very much. Their common goal to help Cobb County be the best it can so that we can all love Cobb County. I want to recognize Millie Rogers, my assistant, who helps keep things rocking and rolling every single day. Millie, I know you're here. There you go. Yeah. 
And we've added a couple of folks recently to help in our office, Charlotte Collins, who will be coming in. And I'd like to introduce to you the Deputy Chief to the Chairman, Ms. Kelly Runlow, who's here today. Of course, I want to thank Georgia Power for sponsoring this event this morning. I had to make up for earlier. <laughs> and for the Chamber of Commerce for giving the opportunity to present the State of the County. So what is, what is the State of the County? I'm going to assume that most of you have been to several State of the Counties over the past few years. I imagine that while you were traveling here this morning, you may have for a brief moment, or if at all, wondered what, what, what will be different this morning. My, important, my intent this morning is for you to leave knowing that Cobb County is doing great in so many different ways, and that you can be proud of your county, and that you can love your county. We all collectively are what make this county great. Each day, of course, the commissioners and I, along with the 4,500 employees that make up the county government, wake up with a single purpose. And as to provide an environment where businesses can thrive and a quality of life can be considered by every citizen and every visitor as the best in the region. We want everyone to believe, really believe, that the way of life our quality of life, however you define it, is the best that possibly can be. We want you to be proud of your county. We want you to love this county. And we want you to tell your friends and business associates about this county. So to help you along, there's a card at each of your cities. Have some questions on it. And over the next 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to provide those answers. At the end of the program, we're going to ask you to put your card in one of the boxes at the exit. For those of you that have answered all the questions correctly, you will be entered into a drawing for access to a suite for opening day at the Atlanta Braves 2015 season. And not to be outdone, Vaughn, from the Kennesaw State University undefeated Owls football program, <laughs> committed to me last week, late last week, that he would provide two tickets, or four tickets for two couples to a suite at Kennesaw State University's inaugural football game this fall which, by the way, is 234 days and 10 hours away. <laughs> of course, government employees are not eligible for this drawing. Somebody had their cards. So here we go. So what are the things we can be proud of from 2014? And so why should you love Cobb County and brag about Cobb County? Could it be our AAA rating from all three rating agencies. Who can tell me how many years Cobb County has maintained this elite status? Not Jim Pearson, I know you know. 18 years. Yeah. And Cobb County is one of only 39 counties out of 3,049 in the United States to have this rating. That's something to be proud of. Now pay attention. Who can tell me what other Cobb County agency enjoys a AAA rating for the three rating agencies? The water system. For 13 years in a row, we've had a triple AAA in the water system. Steve, are you here? Steve McCullers? Thank you for your leadership in the department. It's wonderful that you do that for us. And at Steve's management, financial planning of our folks in AAA ratings of the water system that allowed, allowed us recently to refinance a few bonds so that we 
can avoid a rate increase in our water rates this year. So while others are going up, we're staying stable. You can be proud of the local government's financial and fiscal conservative policies. From a revenue and budgeting perspective, we began to turn a corner in 2013 to a healthier, healthier budget. But it was in 2014 where we really, really picked up steam. The digest experienced a slight growth of 3.6%, and we ended with one of the healthiest surpluses in recent years. To ensure our economic position remains strong and sustainable, we maintain our reserves, commonly referred to as a rainy day fund, at $48.8 million, now 15% of our total budget. Folks, that's 5% or 16.3% more than is required. We are able to continue to have some of the lowest taxes and costs of doing business in the region. The bottom line is this. We ended FY 2014 with a sustainable budget, reasonable surplus, strong reserves, and the quality of services for the citizens and businesses of Cobb County. You can be proud of the business-friendly environment in Cobb County. You can love Cobb County. Now, a not so small accomplishment that we went that went relatively unnoticed this year was the renewal of the county and city's duplication of services agreement. This year was the second agreement that is required by law to be renewed every 10 years. As you know, the six cities represent 26% of the county's population, and with some cities providing services that are also provided by the county, state law mandates that we have an agreement in place to ensure the residents are getting a fair deal and specifically are not double charged. So this spring, the city mayors and the county team led by Mr. Hankson met and came to an agreement that was then agreed to by the Board of Commissioners in all six councils. Folks, this is huge. And my mayors and the city council are here, I appreciate you being here. And this speaks loudly of the existing current level of cooperation and teamwork that exists today between our cities and our counties, that we are to accomplish this so quietly, so effectively, and so efficiently. Mayors, thank you so very much. We can be very proud of the working relationship between the cities and the county. But we also have a great working relationship with the state of Georgia. An example of this, we are replacing the existing driver's license center on County Services Parkway and building a new facility in Kennesaw. And the new Georgia Department of Veterans Service Office has just opened recently on Potter Springs Road. And if you're a vet, I invite you to visit that office. So what else would make you proud? What else could cause you to love Cobb County? and to brag to your friends and business associates about what we have here? Or how about excelling at the top characteristics that business leaders look for when making decisions about job expansion or moving their company to Cobb? They look at quality of life for family and friends. They look at educational excellence and the opportunities presented. Consistent local leadership, conservative fiscal policies, and favorable and competitive business environments. There may be more that are specific to you, or even a more finite, but I think we can all agree that Cobb County is at the top of our game on all these core characteristics. You can love Cobb County for what we have to offer. So what responsibility should Cobb County government have to ensure we are at the top of our game? I believe we are responsible for, for providing an environment that allows each resident, each business owner, each visitor to feel empowered to accomplish anything they set their mind to. The Cobb County vision, Cobb County government vision statement is Cobb County, an exceptional community where all people and businesses can safely thrive through our commitment to transparency, fiscal responsibility, and prudent resource management. 
I will mention it again, as it's been mentioned several times over the last 20 plus years, Cobb County government has earned then maintained a reputation for delivering more for less. And again, it is 4,500 employees who make up our Cobb County government who do a phenomenal job every single day executing their responsibilities. They deliver beyond expectation with many significant accomplishments. We have the highest level of commitment from government employees in this nation. And guess what? They all love Cobb County. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here this morning. So what are some other accomplishments in 2014? Well, we've always committed to have and maintain the finest in public safety. You may recall last year I introduced to you Cobb County's new public safety director, Sam Heaton. I told you that we had committed to him the support he required to ensure that Cobb County remained at the top of the game, to attract the best qualified candidates and to protect our investments in well-trained police force. Well, in the true Cobb way, he and the county manager put their heads together for a plan to call for, pay attention, see you Jerry, pay attention here, 40 additional police officers, new patrol vehicles, ten, and 10 hour shifts which greatly enhance police coverage. And the board unanimously approved this plan. Cobb County is well on its way back to the most effective public safety, safety operation in the Southeast. And you can be proud of the public safety men and women. We know you love them. Cobb County is accomplishing many great improvements to our quality of life with the 2011 SPLOS, to include our fire department added seven new engines, two ladder trucks, two air and light trucks, and five rescue trucks. The Parks and Recs has completed 150 projects with another 42 in the works. And the Department of Transportation has completed over 100 projects so far focused on congestion relief and driver and pedestrian safety. Do you know we have also resurfaced over a thousand roads this year? Additionally, projects underway include the Windy Hill DDI, the Skip Span Connector, and a new airport tower and customs office that will lead to expanded international and flight operation capabilities. You can be proud of your Cobb County employees, led by Mr. Hankerson, for delivering the best SPLOS program in the state. Now in November, you remember, the citizens of Cobb County approved the six-year extension of the SPLOS by one of the largest margins in recent history. Folks, in my mind, this speaks loudly of the confidence and trust the community has in the direction of the Chamber and Cobb County. This creates an environment where the Cobb County and its cities can continue to invest in infrastructure that set us apart as a leader. The 2016 SPLOS has more city-county projects than in history. Another testimony to just how well your city and county leadership and staff are working together. Thank you to the members of the chamber for your support and your confidence as expressed by the voters of Cobb County. The new SPLOS has so many projects on them, you'll want to follow and keep track at CobbCounty.org. And these are just a few things that are being done to help Cobb be a great place to live, work, play, and to love. Now the Valana Rakes, Mike, I should have talked to you about the seats in the dugout. Um, I hope Freddie doesn't mind. The Atlanta Braves organization continue to make phenomenal progress on this entire project. Their vision of a world-class ballpark and mixed-use development is in full swing. Sun Trust Park and the play work stay destination community of unique shops, restaurants, and entertainment venues is where people can play throughout the day, every day of the year. 
And I assure you that this is no small accomplishment, and they are on schedule and within budget. As a sidebar, when they open up their doors in 2017, they will have a long list of firsts and the biggest and the best and the greatest in this country. This year, we can expect to see construction begin, the bonds finalized, and fine tuning of the entire project to include the overall parking and traffic plan. But guess what? We're going to have that done by the beginning of 2016. We're still working it, but it's full 15 months before the first pitch. The project will create new quality of life experiences for Cobb and for the region that build on all of the wonderful attractions we already have in place. Now pay attention here. As an economic driver, to date there has been $125 million awarded in contracts with $70 million, or 55%, spent with Cobb businesses. The Atlanta Braves held two specific meetings with the construction community that we can ensure that everyone had an opportunity to participate in this project. They have also contributed $100,000 to Cobb-based nonprofits so far, have made five appearances, have purchased 15 tables to support our local schools and charities, through the community events. The Braves have renovated one of Fuller's Parks Fields and later this month we will be holding the Chipper Jones Field dedication. Folks, I think you would agree the Atlanta Braves are committed to Cobb County and they love Cobb County. And I'm here to say it's okay, it is really okay for you to love the Atlanta Braves, to be proud of the Atlanta Braves, and tell your friends and business associates about their new home in Cobb County. I cannot lose sight, however, that it is, in fact, the 700,000 plus people in Cobb County that truly makes this the best place to live, work, play, and earn a world-class education, from pre-K to a doctorate degree, yes, from Kennesaw State University, who recently completed their merger with Southern Poly to create one of the largest and one of the best, if not the best, universities in the country. Folks, it's time to get behind them. It's time to be there for opening day for football, and it's time to make be proud of them. And as I mentioned earlier, there's still a home in the undefeated Owls football program. It is vitally important that we demand as a community that we never, never, never give up in our pursuit of new heights of success for our residents, businesses, faith-based communities, nonprofits, and our educational institutions. People choose Cobb because we continuously strive to do better, and they love to call Cobb home. Now, as chairman, Cobb County, I said from the start that one of my primary focus areas would be economic development. I have kept that focus because it means job and investments in Cobb County and new revenues for our county, our six cities, and our two school systems. Our economic development and expansion allows us to provide services our citizens expect. Now, some of you that may have heard, heard me recently refer to our economic development program as economic expansion. Economic expansion just sounds impressive and robust. This year, the Board of Commissioners approved the South Cobb Redevelopment Zone, led by Ed Richardson, Fort Thickton, and Doug Stoner, that utilizing the self-supporting system is allowing the businesses of South Cobb to invest specifically in their efforts to jumpstart a vitally important economic corridor of Cobb County. We all look forward to this investment taking foothold this year. You can be proud of the growth and commitment and forward momentum in South Cobb. The Cobb Competitive Edge process since its loss, well, the launch, excuse me, just three years ago has secured 13,000 new jobs. That's 50% above goal already. And there has been $2.2 million in private dollars invested in our economy. 
It is imperative that, imperative that we all take part in its execution and its success. Some of our successes include Greenway Health Technologies, Vonage Business Solutions, and a reinvestment and commitment of our longtime corporate friends, Genuine Autoport Parts, who chose to build their worldwide headquarters here in Wildwood. Our existing leadership team, our existing industry, industry team is created to go out and help our existing businesses grow and thrive. During 2014, they made 131 cloud visits to help existing businesses identify how we could help them grow and thrive in Cobb County. The, strategic, the strong strategic partnerships that we have together between the State Department of Economic Development, the county, each of our six cities, this chamber, and many others continues to grow and be an effective in retaining jobs, recruiting new jobs, and investments in Cobb County. Cobb County is very competitive and we must continue to tell our story as to why we love Cobb County as we ensure and achieve growth and great successes. You can love Cobb County's economic program. A very important economic driver that I'm sure we all can agree on is the educated workforce. We must work together as a community and support our educators and school administrators to maximize graduation rates and prepare all students for secondary college and future job opportunities. The school systems, challenges, and concerns must be embraced by all of us to identify solution in the Cobb way together. Supporting our schools, educating our youth is so important to the future of Cobb County. I pledge to you that the Board of Commissioners will do whatever we can to support and improve our educational systems. You, I know, love Cobb's schools. The focus for 2015 must be on the following. We must prepare, prepare for the next round of RAC discussions in Washington. David Connell and your chamber are leading a robust effort to ensure Cobb County is doing everything possible to make certain our very valued military leaders and bases Lockheed Martin remain an important asset to Cobb County. Cobb County is, and always has been, very proud and supportive of our military men and women who Cobb, call Cobb home. I know they love Cobb. Just this past week we had two deployments of our military personnel overseas to help support our privilege and right to be here this morning. They left behind families and friends and relatives that no doubt during their tour are going to need our support from the county and in the community as individuals. I call on you to make sure you do what you can to take the extra step to find out who those people are, what they need, and to do whatever you possibly can, either individually as a community, to make sure that while those brave warriors are across fighting on our behalf that they have absolutely no concern for their families and back home. It's our job as Cobb County residents, it's our job as Cobb County businesses to make sure that while men and women are fighting on our behalf across the country, across the world, that we do what we can to take care of their families here at home. And I know I can count on you and I know you'll all deliver. So thank you to the men and women that serve our great country. We're very proud of you, and we're very committed to your success as individuals and as families. Thank you. Thank you. Additionally, we must continuously address our transportation issues. If we are to keep moving forward as a community that's dedicated to quality of life, excellent educational opportunities, and favorable and competitive business conditions, we need to focus on transportation. See, transportation does not sit still, except in Atlanta. <laughs> but
but businesses don't, citizens don't, visitors don't. Our traveling, traveling public needs change daily, so it's imperative that we meet these challenges head on and work diligently for solutions every single day. Through our SPLOS, our CCT and airport programs, combined with resources from so many other investors, our current, our current transportation investment in Cobb is way north of $330 million. A few of the stakeholders, and I'm going to the list because it's important, I want you to listen to the folks that are investing in our transportation programs because they believe in this community. They are the Cumberland CID, the Town Center CID, the Cobb Galleria Center, the State of Georgia, the Atlanta Regional Commission, the Georgia State Road and Toll Authority, and yes, the federal government, Chattahoochee State University, Kennesaw, Kennesaw State University, Wellstar Health Systems in our six cities have all contributed financially to help move forward solutions for our transportation issues. This investment and this commitment does not include the Northwest Corridor Managed Link Project investment of $1.2 billion, nor the 2016 SPOS investment of $412 billion. Million. This is only the beginning, folks. We must work together as a community to improve mobility and safety for our traveling public. Whether their path brings them to Cobb, away from Cobb, or through Cobb, we must continuously strive and invest in our best overall solutions. You see, someday, it's my hope that you will love Cobb's traffic. <laughs> so what's next? Well, we've talked this morning about, about being proud of Cobb County and loving Cobb County to a point where, as in your families, when you're proud and love your family, you tell your friends, you tell your business associates about that great moment. And we invite you to sign up for our weekly emails. You can sign up at the Cobb County webpage on these cards, you just, or the cards you just filled out. There's a section for you to select topics that can best interest you. This is the best way to keep up on the events and happenings of Conley. Moving forward into 2015, my commitment to you as a community is to lead and manage Cobb County government in the most conservative and transparent manner possible. This includes administering with a fiscally conservative budgeting philosophy. You see, I love Cobb County. And I believe in order to reach great heights for the long term, we must continue to make the right choices for this county to improve its financial stability, to improve its quality of services, to improve our low cost, best in class services that the citizens of Cobb County have come to expect and love. You can love Cobb County and be proud of us and tell your friends and your family and your business associates. But we have a new way and here's how. Hello, I'm Miss Cobb County, Patricia Ford, and I want to let you in on a little secret. I love Cobb. Like you, I know a lot about Cobb. We are a community that offers so many great opportunities for education, business, the arts, and recreation. In fact, I think everyone in this room probably loves this county as much as I do. Where else can you find teachers like Katie Eason from Sawyer Road Elementary School or Tyler Gwen at Alatoona High School? Not only are they great teachers, but our community rallies around special teachers every year and celebrates their achievements. I love Cobb! The Chamber of Commerce and Cobb County government partner with the community at large to encourage economic expansion through the EDGE program. In the last five years, over 7,500 new jobs have been created, and during 2014, there was more than $1.6 billion of new business investment in our county. I love Cobb! 
the Cobb County Airport is expanding with a new control tower and a custom center, which will allow direct international access to better serve global businesses here in Cobb. Our public safety departments are the best. They stand ready day and night to protect us. Every October, we celebrate their commitment, success, and sometimes, sadly, their sacrifice. I love Cobb! Of course, baseball fans are counting down the days to the opening of SunTrust Park. Some of us may be a little more excited about all the plans for new shopping and entertainment, while others are looking forward to the new jobs that will be created as part of the complex. One thing is for sure, there is a lot of excitement in the air. I love Cobb. And with so many things to love about Cobb, it's understandable why some would want to keep it a secret. But it's important for us all to be reminded how wonderful our community really is. In fact, we should probably do a better job of reminding ourselves, our neighbors, and the metro area what we love about Cobb. I'm challenging you to look for all the good things in our community and to help me spread the word. The next time you're posting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or anywhere else, ask yourself, is this something I love about Cobb? It could be the day your daughter walks across that stage at graduation, your son playing soccer at the local park, or when you capture a special moment in our community. Don't just post it, hashtag it with hashtag I love Cobb. We wanna know what you love about Cobb. You can find us on Twitter at I love Cobb and follow along and see what others love about Cobb. Remember, if you see it and you like it, don't keep it a secret. Hashtag it with I love Cobb. There you have it. Thank you, Brad, for putting that video together. My challenge to you this year is to capitalize on all you know that's good about Cobb, why you're proud of Cobb, and why you love Cobb County. And let's tell the world why you love Cobb County. Thank you for allowing me to be here this morning.